How's it going YouTube? That's here and today I'm going to be doing something a little different, something I haven't done in a while. I'm going to be going back to my uh, Pokemon Showdown complete tutorial. And in this version of the tutorial, you know, I've done all the other ones. I've done UU, RU, uh, what is it, NU, OU, Ubers, Little Cup. I've pretty much done everything but doubles. So this version of the Pokemon Showdown complete tutorial is going to be VGC. Now I've had a lot of people ask me messages and just like, you know, battles how do you get into doubles you know how can you play doubles competitively without uh you know having all the experience that you know you build up throughout a career playing it so i figured i might go back and just show how to create a team from scratch you know where to get all the info you need you know what sites you should you look for uh little tips and tricks also how to build a team and how to just you know play showdown at the highest level so what I'm going to be doing in this tutorial is hopefully I'll be able to make a team from scratch. I'll show you how to do that in this episode. And then I'll take the team throughout four or five videos, playing ladder all the way up to the top 100 of the ladder, which you can check on Pokemon Showdown. So hopefully that works out. And uh, yeah, let's let's hop right into it. You know, the first thing you got to do if you want to play on Pokemon Showdown is go to play.pokemonshowdown.com. I'll be leaving a link to that in the video description. This is where you play Pokemon Showdown Battles. For those of you that don't know what Pokemon Showdown is, it's a website made by uh, Smogon that uh, lets you play Pokemon with people all around the world for free. You pretty much make your team, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute, and you just queue up for a battle and battle people. What we're going to do right now, just to show it a little example, is to click the Watch Battle button. So you're going to click it. You can click your format, but what we're going to do is we're just going to click this. Just a random battle. We're watching. See? We joined this game. So, we're watching them play this game. They have Mighty Anna Azatu, Frenchy Gigas, and Dusk North. So, this is a random doubles battle, a format only uh, exclusive to Smogon. This is what it looks like. You, know, you can see the lobby. Bunch of, bunch of stuff to do on here. Yeah, like I said, there's the lobby, there's tournaments, there's a bunch of different chat rooms. So, there's also, like, there's one just for VGC. And, you know, there's just a lot of stuff to do on the uh, Pokemon Showdown, but this is a little brief introduction to it. So, like I said, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Pokemon Showdown. It's not that hard. After you go to Pokemon Showdown, you've watched a couple battles, you've looked and noticed that double format is, you know, two Pokemon at once. You're then going to want to go to NuggetBridge.com. And I'll show that in just a sec after I give a little bit of a brief introduction of how doubles work compared to the other format. I should have done that at the beginning, probably. The way doubles works is, doubles is a format where each player brings six Pokemon to a battle, you then pick four Pokemon after looking at the team preview, and you choose those to do battle against four of your opponent's Pokemon. These Pokemon are sent out two at a time, so you always have two Pokemon on the board. Now, you may think that that's stupid, and it's not nearly as competitive as OU, but there's a lot of things. Like, there's no really walling that happens in doubles. You know, walling happens really exclusively in the lower tiers of Pokemon, especially in, like, the UU tier. And it, I guess it's starting to happen a lot more in OU as well. But you can't really wall something in doubles because people, while, while Pokemon are bulky, they can always get nuked by two Pokemon. The use of Protect is highly used on almost every Pokemon in the doubles format. And, you know, it's just a great format. It is the official format by Nintendo, so it's called VD, VGC Video Game Championship Format. If you want to win any money or win anything uh, playing Pokemon, you're probably going to have to be playing doubles. So this is a great way to get into that. So hopefully you have a little bit of a brief background of, of but uh, yeah, breath, background history. I do not know why I was stuttering there. Background history of doubles. Let's go to Nugget Bridge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this page and go to the front page of Nugget Bridge. Show you how to get to this page that I'm at. This is the page waiting for this to load. I do not know. Like, this page always takes a while to load because it's so big. All right, so we're gonna click on. We're gonna go to NuggetBridge.com take just a second to get there there we go this is nugget bridge this is the premier you know double battles vgc place on the whole internet you know this is way better than smogon exclusively for doubles for anything singles related i would definitely go to smogon and in all my past pokemon showdown tutorials i've gone to smogon and you know I, I really do think it's a better place to play singles but if you have anything to learn about doubles this is the place to go nugget bridge and you know all the top players from around the world go to this website so what you're going to want to do is you're going to go into the, uh, what is it, the articles. You're going to click the articles until you find this one. And I'll leave a link to it. I'll leave a link to Nugget Bridge and a link to this article down at the bottom. It's called the VGC 2014 Metagame Overview. 
And what this article does is it pretty much covers every single thing you're going to need to know about Pokemon that are used in this season. Because doubles format changes by the year. This year it's uh, Kalos uh, Pokedex only Pokemon with the exclusion of a few Ubers. So you're going to see all the Pokemon that are going to be included in this article. Lists of them are like Kangaskhan, Aegislash, Garchomp, Heat, Rotom, Wash, Rotom, Mawile. The list goes starts right here, starts with Kangaskhan, and ends with Wigglytuff. All of the Pokemon on this list are then going to get a huge like paragraph showing you know their picture, if they mega, potential items, all their base stats, and, and also every single move that they use. It also shows their typical Eevee build for every single one of these Pokemon, and these are literally all the Pokemon that you're going to need to use if you want to play VGC. Like Salamence is a very used Pokemon. We're going to go to Salamence. There's Salamence. It shows all the key moves. Salamence normally has a Choice Scarf, which it covers in the very first sentence. So you normally see Draco Meteor, Fire Blast, Dragon Pulse, Hydro Pump. Those are standard moves. We also see Flamethrower, because that's great. Then we even see the like very really uncommon use moves of Rock Slide, Stone Edge, and Sleep Talk. Sleep Talk for, you know, those uh, Scarfed uh, Smurgles with Dark Void. That's a very, like, specific matchup. Having Sleep Talk on your Salamence because it's Choice Scarfed, it's very specific. And also Stone Edge and Rock Slide. It has both of them on there. Rock Slide is generally... Generally not that used, but it's great against like Talonflame. But if you want to kill like Charizard, you're gonna need that Stone Edge. So that's why it has it has Stone Edge on there just for like the Charizard matchup. That's pretty that's pretty in depth. It has literally every move you're gonna see off these Pokemon. Every move. Like Talonflame, Brave Blitz, Fair Blitz, Tailwind, U-turn, Protect, Quick Guard, and Taunt. I can't think of another move Talonflame would want to use. So it's literally perfect. It this article is one of the best articles I've ever seen concerning anything in the Pokemon metagame for doubles or singles. This is one of the most, like, best put together articles ever. This, uh, this article will teach you every single Pokemon that's relevant, every single one of those Pokemon's movesets, EV spreads, and play styles. After memorizing the stuff in this article, you will be, like, so ahead of anyone who doesn't know this stuff. And you'll know what to expect. You'll see, like, oh, it's Aegislash. It's going to do this, this, and this. You know, it's going to have this item. So you, you want to, when you see Aegislash, there's a couple things you can do. You know, you can try and nuke to Aegislash, watch out for that King Shield, or you can try to, you know, uh, wait for it to King Shield and use a status to take advantage of that, or you can pretty much ignore it depending on uh, how your team is set up to go around it. If you have a bunch of special walls, you know that Aegislash is exclusively a special attacker in doubles. So you can ignore it at that point, and that's just a great thing to do because every team is probably going to have an Aegislash in it. It is pretty good. So after reading this article, you know, it shows everything you need to know. It about 20-something Pokemon. It even shows, like, different versions. See, Gengar and Mega Gengar? Gengar is useful without its Mega. Just throw a Sash on it. And, you know, unlike Smogon, you know, Mega Gengar, Mega Kangaskhan, those are both legal here. So, there's a lot of stuff to do. It's funny how it has, like, Aerodactyl, but, like, you don't see Mega Aerodactyl. Because its probability of Mega Evolving, it's very unlikely. Because this Pokemon is just so much better with a Sash. So I really, really recommend this article. Like I said, I will leave a link to it in the uh, description. We're going to go back to Pokemon Showdown now. Like I always do in the first uh, you know, episode of my Pokemon Showdown tutorials, is I want to show you how to use the team builder. And to do that, we're going to make a very generic team. So you go to Pokemon Showdown. You remember to log in, make your name. And then you go to Team Builder right here. I have a bunch of teams already made. So what you're going to do, I'll go back from the start. You're going to click New Team right here. So it's going to bring up this page. You're going to click your format, and I'm going to click VGC 2014. Uh, you don't really have to click that, but it just helps source it. And I'll click Add Pokemon. So what you can do is you can type in any Pokemon, and it'll bring it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in my favorite doubles Pokemon in Garchomp. Garchomp's going to come up, and I'm going to go through building a team step by step, and I'm just going to fill in what are standard for these Pokemon. Not generally stuff I would use or stuff that I would recommend, just the standard sets for these Pokemon. So, Garchomps normally have a Lumberry, and they normally carry Rough Skin. Standard move sets are Protect, Earthquake, Dragon Claw, and Rock Slide. This set lets you take out everything. And you have perfect coverage pretty much right there. And remember, because you cannot use Pokemon from Pokebank, you can't use Iron Head on your Garchomp to check those fairies. Rock Slide's generally for the Town Flame and Charizard matchups, and Rotom Heat, I guess. Eevee Spreads are going to be uh, 4 in HP, 
252 in attack, 252 in speed, with speed nature. And get that. Yeah, there you go. So Jolly. That's this is the Garchomp that everybody uses. This is just completely standard Garchomp and easy to make. Next Pokemon. I'm gonna go Kangaskhan, because it's the best mega in doubles right now. So give it the Kangaskhanite. Now, you can have Scrappy or Inti or Inner Focus to not get fake outed if you don't Mega Evolve first turn. Most people go with Scrappy, so I'll go with that. So Kangaskhan usually carry that fake out. They carry return. They carry Power Up Punch, and they carry Sucker Punch. To get that with a little bit of priority in there. There's a couple different uh, EV spreads to have on Kangaskhan. For the most part, uh, I like to go for a full, fast Kangaskhan that's Jolly Nature. That's just my opinion. I can get walled out by the Kangaskhan that's full HP or mostly HP. But, you know, this is just my setup for Kangaskhan. I think it works great. You know, a lot of players use this. So, it's just, just the fastest Kangaskhan to let you outspeed other Kangaskhan. Alright, next Pokemon. We're going to go with Rotom Wash. So, we're going to Rotom Wash the Citrus Berry. The berry that's best on Rotom Wash restores 30% of its HP. Or, sorry, restores a fourth of its max HP when at a, a half HP or less. Sorry about that. Alright, so we're going to go to its moves. We are going to give it Protect. Will-O-Wisp, uh, Hydro Pump, and Thunderbolt. See, it's really similar to singles move sets, but you just got to throw Protect on there. That's pretty much how it goes. Kangaskhan doesn't have Protect because it already has so many moves that it needs. Remember, Kangaskhan evolves into Mega Kangaskhan. It gains the ability uh, Parental Bomb, which lets all its moves hit twice. So this Power Punch is technically like a Stored Stance. Super strong. All right, so EV spreads. Most people want to go full into HP, and Rotoms like to be a little bit more on the special side. And I don't really use Rotom that much anymore, but I'm going to go with just a general EV spread. A little bit more into that special D. Because you can always cover up for, uh, you know, EV spreads with, an, like, see right here? I'm going to have 325. This is, uh, like, super, well, this is level 100 stats, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to have a lot more special D than defense, and I can cover up for that with an Intimidate on my team. That's just how this works. So, like I said, I do need an Intimidate. I'm going to go for Salamence. Salamence bringing that Intimidate. Going to give this guy a Choice Scarf. I didn't really like the Choice Scarf Salamence, but, you know, it is the standard one. That's what I'm making. So we're going to give it Draco Meteor. Uh, we're going to give it Hydro Pump. We're going to give it Flamethrower. And, you know, I actually am just going to throw Dragon Pulse on there. Like I said, we did see the, uh, what is it, like Sleep Talk, Rock Slide, Stone Edge. I'm fine. Not Dragon Dance, so well. Dragon Pulse. I, I feel like Dragon Pulse is just fine. So, special scarf set. Click that button. Already there. Except for I want my HP. There we go. There's also the suggested spread button. You can click that too. I don't really recommend it because it just messed it up a little bit. But yeah, you can always click that too. Salmon Springs Intimidate to the table. The best ability in doubles, in my opinion. When this Pokemon sent out, the Pokemon, uh, the both of the opponent's Pokemon get a minus one point, or minus one attack stat. So very good. It lets me bring a lot more special bulk Pokemon, or put my Eevees in special bulk, and cover up for that physical weakness with Intimidate. I need two more Pokemon, and I only have one uh, special attacker, so I should probably bring another special attacker. So let's look through. Common Pokemon. You know, I'm going to bring Gardevoir. And Gardevoir is pretty, pretty weird. Uh, I'm going to go for an Assault Vest set on this. Now... This is kind of standard, but most, most of the time you see Scarf. I've seen Assault Vest Gardevoirs do really good. N normally you want to get the Trace on this one, so you can hopefully Trace those Intimidates. I'm going to go for a Moonblast. And I'm going to go for Psychic. And then Thunderbolt. And I need one more move. Remember, I have an Assault Vest, so I can't use Protect. Uh, I'll probably just go for Dazzling Gleam. Or Energy Ball. Eh, I'll just go for Dazzling Gleam. I got Thunderbolt to check Water Types. There aren't really any ground... Uh, water types in this format, so you're fine going for a Dazzling Gleam. And what I'll do with this is I'll go 252 HP, 252 Special Attack with Nature, and the last four and whatever speed. So this is a really, really, really generic set. I wouldn't really recommend bringing this to a tournament without uh, testing it, but you know, this this set works just great, and I'd be fine using this in a tournament. I would just like to test it first because there's certain things you want to outspeed. When I'm saying test it in a tournament, I'd want to put a bit more speed into it before I'd use it. So I'd want to test it first. Because there's certain things that have the same speed that I want to be faster than. Like Rotom is 86. So that means like 86 base speed. If I were to put like, 
you know, 35 EVs into Rotom, that means I'd outspeed it. That's just a little bit in-depth stuff I'm going into, and I'll go into all that stuff later. I need one more Pokemon. What should I pick? What should I pick? I usually like bringing Azumarill. See, Ro you see Mamoswine a lot. Sometimes you can bring dual Megas. You know, I don't really recommend that, but I've definitely done it at, you know, VGCs in the past. And we're just looking around, we're looking around for Pokemon. You can see all the Pokemon here. Just because they're here doesn't mean they're weak leaders. This is the, this is the smog on tiering system. You know, let's bring Talonflame. Talonflame's pretty good. These guys usually have Life Orb or Choice Band. You can put Life Orb on it. Give it that Gale Wing so it has priority. We're going to put uh, Brave Bird. Flare Blitz. And I like Taunt on mine. And Tailwind. So, pretty, pretty easy moveset to use. Priority move from Brave Bird, super strong, stabbed. Super strong Flare Blitz. Take out those Fair Thorns, take out those Scissors. Uh, taunt to stop Trick Rooms and Tailwind to make your team super fast. EV spread is super simple. Let's see if the suggested spread button gets it right. No, it doesn't. You don't need that speed if you're going to slam priority moves. So, see, like I said, the suggested spread is not always correct. Talonflame is pretty weak, but with that Life Orb and the like addition of a priority move that is this strong, it's still a pretty good Pokemon. I really think it's pretty good. It was really popular at the start of the season. Started to fade out a bit now, but I still recommend it a lot. So, this is a team right here. Get your items. Remember, in doubles, you can only use one of each item, which is why I didn't use two Choice Scarfs here. I also didn't use a Sash, but this team's fine. I think I would be perfectly okay, you know, laddering with this. I would like to make a few different tweaks, but it's fine. I've got a lot of Pokemon, a couple are really bulky in special defense, and that, uh, gets evened out by my Intimidate. These are all Pokemon that are on the top of the tier list for doubles. You know, these are all Pokemon that have been in the top 10 before. Most of them are still in the top 10 for usage. So I'd recommend using them. I think I'm going to call this video here. Next video, we're going to be getting into some battles with this team. And hopefully we'll win some and we'll go up the ladder and I'll show you guys how to play some VGC doubles. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I will leave links to all the pages that I linked in the description. Feel free to check those out. I really recommend it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.